<coughs> welcome to to this um, Excel class. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick overview in Excel, right? So uh, I'm going to try to make this as um, comprehensive as possible and kind of like you know tightly packed with um, you know some reasonable um, explanation. So. First of all, when you open your Excel, right, this is called your backstage, right? It's called backstage. Um, so you can get more templates. Like, and by the way, I'm using Excel 2019. So even if you are using Excel 2016, um, that should do. Um, but I'm going to create a video for those who don't have Excel at all. I'm going to draw a video where, you know, to show you how to install or you know run your excel online so that shouldn't be a problem except you are probably using excel 2010 i think you should be able to follow with you know some um basic stuff that i'm showing you but i wouldn't advise you to use excel 2010 because some stuff might look strange like you know what i'm showing you backstage view looks totally different on excel 2010 i think excel 2013 uh i'm not quite sure but if yours look you know you can find something like this with your own your new you know that has a backstage view like this well you should be able to follow up to some extent like i said it's better you have the latest version that is like 2019 and so on so as we get into the intermediate advanced class you definitely need to get you know higher version like 2019 365 and you know, so, so and by the way, 2019 is the same thing as 365 office. Um, so, like I said, this is your backstage, and um, so <clears throat> you have more templates to get more templates, and you can you know download more if um, you are not um, satisfied with what you have there. Then you have your workbook. So this is primarily um, your you know your sheet where I've been doing, and um, if you have any. That you have saved or you know you are you recently opened when you click on workbook you can you know get them here or you can see the folders that you know they were saved in so you have your new and so with your new you can open up a blank workbook or you can pick from any of the template or you can search when you are connected to the internet right then you have your open if you have saved any at all you can you know browse for them and you know kind of like pick um you know yeah Wherever location you have you know saved your work now like i said um this is going to show you an information about your office 2019 and um, um and then you have your so that that is pretty much that about you know just the rare look so now we are going to go we'll be opening a blank workbook and so you see something like this so this is your title bar so i'm going to drop a a kind of like a an image with you know explaining showing you the diagrams for the names for um particular parts of excel then you have your quick access to bar right now you can add to it to what you have here or you can remove so when you click any it's going to add or remove if you know it has not been added before and so you have your home tab so this is your tab list yeah, and this is your tab right now we are in our home tab and that is your different opening tab when you open your workbook and by the way this is your workbook and this is your worksheet and so you see book one if i try to save you know save as um let's say um my excel my excel now book one should change to my excel right so that is your title um bar um, so you have your your so every tab has a ribbon right this is our ribbon right and in our ribbon we have a button or text so uh, or tools like i like calling them so um um so we have our formula bar we have our name box right and by the way if you put your course on any of them some should tell you what they are and kind of like give you a little um view a little you know kind of like um explanation about um the buttons so then you have what is called the cell 
so every every workbook has every worksheet has a cell and so this is your um alphabet your letters row um colon and this is your number um row right and so you have your sheet tab you have your sheet one tab sheet two sheet three and this is your um new sheet tab right is your scroll bar your horizontal and your vertical scroll bar um, um, obviously this is your zoom control and this is your um, um, sheet um, control tab so and this is your status tab right is no, a status tab um, so you can add to it I mean this, this is your status tab right you can add to it this and um let's say i want to remove uh, one of these for example let's say this and zoom slider now you notice i don't have my zoom slider there now um so you have your collapse ribbon so i can click on auto hide and i can come back here and say show tabs command so something else i need uh, something i also need to show you when i alight let's say more than two four five six eight ten whatever number of cells and i want to merge everything together i come to merge and center right and now you see 10 cells have, has become one you know now that is how to merge you know cells your cells together now let's say i want to you know and by the way this is known as your active cell because it's the cell right now that is you know active your cell indicator so is your when i let's say i sum a number um sum two plus four and of course every excel formula should start with an equals to right now you see i got my six here because um this was my active cell that's why it, i got my six here so if my active cell was to be here uh, I'll, I'll get my six there so every tab looks different has a different ribbon um buttons in, in it right now you have your insert you have your page layout you have your excel actually i created this tab and uh, so i'm going to in my next video i'm going to show you how to customize your tab and also to customize your you know your quick access to bar right so we have the formulas and so on and so forth and if you look at this your home is different from your paid layout tab right and your paid layout tab is different from your formula tab and so on and so forth and so you can if you are coming from the microsoft word background you should be able to bold your text to um italize underline and so on and so forth color your text and so on and so forth so I just show you image and center you can indent so you can format currency format so i'm not going to talk about that now right i'm going to create a video that's going to show you these tools and what they do right now when i click on my file um now what we have here is kind of like different from what we you know when we open our, our tab right our excel now when you come to home of course you see because i've saved you know a workbook as my excel it appears here right now when you come to new uh we have talked about this then you go to open we also we also talked about this now you go to info this is going to give you um it's going to show you um how to protect your workbook you know check for issues manage workbook you know also to upload share copy parts and so on and so forth so this is going to tell you about properties you know, the size type to so we are going to do a brief explanation on that um in our next video so i don't want this to be long that's why I, you know i don't want to do this um yeah right so we have the um export so you can change your file type to let's say pdf or csv or you know excel 19 97 2003 this is because you know whoever is going to open your excel and 
you know probably they are using 2003 excel you know software it will be possible for them to also open that's why if you look at the icon it's different from you know the various icons that you have um yeah it's different from our excel 2016 2019 icon right so you can save us when you click on save us and you want to convert to pdf um you can change your excel to pdf as i have here and you know so um we have the account i think we just talked about that then we have the option now through our option we can customize our ribbon we can you know customize our quick access to bar so assuming i want to add something to my quick access to bar but i can't find it here you can come to this particular place and kind of go to your all commands and um, you should see something like this and then you can see a lot myriads of tools or buttons that you can add to your excel and so let's say I add some like idea i click on add and i click on if you watch if you watch this something's going to you know be added to it so see these ideas so so that's just it about excel so you can sign in right so i have not signed in actually i signed out so now that just is by excel so i'm going to drop a text for us to read up and you know get more ideas and more insight about this uh, because i don't want to make my videos long on just talking about parts of excel and so on and so forth that's why i'm dropping those texts for us to go through and um, um, rest assured that they are highly comprehensive easily understood so yeah thank you for staying tuned and you know um i'm going to drop more videos as we go on